Hi, I'm Pharaoh King, and you are tuned in to the movement. This is America. Don't get you slipping up. Dot XYZ. Yeah. So, my friends, I have a conversation for you. We're going to get it in. This conversation, man, we're going to be talking about. Something I find very complexing. Have you ever like wondered like, for instance, like, you know, in Egypt, they have like these uh, hieroglyphs, right? Where they show like rockets that are on the wall. They show a helicopter that's on the wall. These nuts. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> and other ranges of assortments. And it's not only there, but it's found in other parts of the world. Um, even in the South Americas. Now, I have a theory. Yes, I must admit that I have a theory. Now, what if, right, if you ever seen that movie like Deja Vu with Denzel Washington, where they could go back in the past, they could actually send stuff back in the past? Well, I've been having this thing where I'm like, what if we are actually living in the past? And the technology that we receive is from the future people or future humans I'm sorry like what if it's us from the future because of what we have now I assume they already had in the past because it's on the wall it's not a conspiracy man it's there bro so what if we really are living in the past my friends and I'm gonna tie it together with this old I'm ancient crazy. alien clip right here oh, yeah. showing these natives in World War II when planes were first seen the one by the indigenous. So, no. without further ado! Professor, when I was in the graveyard, there was a moment when Voldemort's wand and mine sort of connected. Ha! Gay! <laughs> Let's get it! It didn't work the first time. Or the second time. Okay. During World War II, American World War II. troops created air bases on remote Pacific islands. To natives who had never witnessed advanced technology, the sight of giant metal birds touching down looked to them as if the gods themselves had turned the Earth into a planetary pit stop. I would they would the see same. these big planes land, and, and it was all technology that... Uh, just out of the sky they didn't know how these things worked but they could see them land and what they liked about it was they were getting free stuff they were getting cargo suddenly when the war was over all these airstrips were abandoned and everyone left and the islanders scratched their heads and they all said to themselves wow wasn't it great when those all these planes came out of the sky and gave us free cans of corned beef and stuff we really liked that cargo Entire religions sprung up from this, where priests actually said, yes, you know, uh, that was our dead ancestors sending us cargo. So what they did then was they began going to the old airstrips and they would build mock wooden airplanes to try and get those planes to come back from the sky and deliver the cans of corned beef to them again. And so you can see how then an analogy with modern cargo cults plays exactly into the ancient astronaut scenario where something like this could have easily happened in the past and entire religions built around ancient astronauts. Exactly, man. 